Uh, I call Claire Hockey, followed by Graham Simpson. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Today's debate, and indeed the publication of the Race Equality Action Plan, sends a strong message to those from ethnic minority backgrounds that the Scottish Government is resolute in making our country a better and fairer place, no matter your background or race. <coughs> the strategy sets out many positive steps that will be taken over the coming years to drive real and lasting change, and it will strive to ensure that all are able to realise their true potential. It's a plan that contains no less than 120 different actions from employment to education, health to housing and poverty to public representation, showing the Scottish Government's clear commitment in improving every aspect of a person's life. We've come a long way over the last few decades in reducing racial inequalities. However, it's dis a disappointing reality that those from underrepresented backgrounds still face poorer outcomes than the majority of Scots. For example, in the year ending June 2017, the employment rate in Scotland for white people was 74%. However, for ethnic minority groups, the employment rate is much lower at 58%. Stats also show that while one in five people defined as white British live in poverty, over one in three from minority backgrounds do so. People from such communities are twice as likely to be unemployed, and if we tackle the inequalities and discrimination within the labour market, then many other linked inequalities can be alleviated too. Our aspiration is not simply to move those marginalised into employment, it's to ensure they are employed in jobs which are appropriate for their level of skills, qualifications and their experience. One of the most marginalised groups in Scotland currently is the Gypsy Traveller community, as we've heard. The most recent Scottish Social Attitudes survey found that 34% of people in Scotland believed Gypsy travellers were unsuitable to be a primary school teacher, whilst 31% would be unhappy if a relative married a Gypsy traveller. Just for one moment, presiding officer, let us reflect on those findings. If this was any other community, there would be a social outcry, and those holding such views would be taken to task. Such attitudes aren't easily changed when a former Tory MSP, now an MP, voiced similar views himself. When asked if he were Prime Minister for the day and if there were no repercussions, then what would he do? And Douglas Ross responded that he would like to see tougher enforcement against gypsy travellers. The gypsy traveller community are a huge part of Scotland's rich cultural heritage and Mr Ross should be ashamed by the way he singled out the group. The discrimination against them sadly seems accepted and normalised by many and therefore I welcome the commitments made by this report to tackle this. In addition to financially supporting organisations who work to improve outcomes for gypsy travellers, the Scottish Government will also, as we've heard, establish a ministerial working group specifically to drive forward improvements for this community. Such steps show the Scottish Government's leadership in advancing race equality. Presiding officer, my constituency of Rutherglen is home to Scotland's second largest settlement of show people. Show people for centuries have toured the country, providing entertainment and other services to local communities, taking pride in their strong, unique cultural identity. Now, I doubt there is a member here in the chamber who doesn't have a childhood or even a more recent memory of a trip to the shows. From the constituents I have spoken with, and indeed from the discussions we've had in the Showman's Guild cross-party group, many of this community would wish to be able to identify themselves as distinct peoples. The option to identify oneself as white gypsy traveller was included for the first time in the Scottish 2011 census, and this is a step which I welcome. However, many show people also wish their community to be granted equal status and acknowledgement in any further census. Presiding officer, despite uh, thank you, thank, uh, presiding officer, <laughs> the, the show people identity can often be misunderstood, and therefore any steps to increase their uh, knowledge of theirs and different minorities and cultures should be welcomed. Thank you very much. I call Graham Simpson to call by.